welcome everybody to our special edition for f1 2022 now with the drive to spin league we have started off our pre-season and we did our first race last week in australia and we have dion here and a special guest from Haas, greg welcome everyone hey dion. G'day, g'day. hey greg good to have you on the podcast first time it's great to be here it's first time <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of radio interviews. I've done a lot of performing, but this is the most nervous I've ever been. So I'll That's try a to. a worldwide audience too. Yeah, yeah exactly. We've got a huge, YouTube famous. Yeah, we've got a huge, 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 huge audience. Let's um up to up to eight subscribers. Yeah, uh, ten. Yeah, ten. Okay. Ten. ten. Double digits. We're killing it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So I think this is a pretty special race for me. I came first, uh, spoiler alert. So pretty happy, pretty chuffed with um, how I did. But I think a, a, a really great result for the Haas, Haas boys. You guys uh, double podium in second and double third. Double podium. There I go, yes. hitting Andre. Um, second and third, which was great to see, which, guys, which gave you guys first place in the constructor so far. We'll see how that goes. But how are you guys feeling about... Um, the rest of the season. I mean, it's, it's still quite early. Uh, we've moved to 22, but what are your thoughts? Early days. Um, I like the game. I like the cars in 22 so far. Uh, I know that some of the guys don't particularly, um, but I've always liked, um, yeah, I like the weight of the cars. They do definitely do feel different to, to 21. Um, I like that you can, I feel that you can carry more speed through the sort of mid-speed corners um so but they do feel a bit clumsy you know in some of the slower corner corners so i guess it's just adjusting and learning you know recalibrating the brain a little bit yeah definitely i feel like breaking is the hardest or the biggest mm -hmm. difference for me in this in this game just yeah like you said just recalibrating my my brain to think okay i've got to break much earlier than what i used to in the previous game, um, so yeah, that's, that's especially at the end of long straights, like that's yeah. that's the killer. If you miss your um, breaking point on those, there's no recovering it. Whereas I thought twenty one was a bit more forgiving in that in that regard. Yeah. So, right. so what setup do you have, Greg? Talk us through the setup that you have that you, that you use. Oh, I need to. Uh, I, I mean, in terms of. It's probably still too early days to really get my head around the setups properly yet. Um, oh, sorry, I meant like the wheel and the, the hard. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so um, Fanatic uh, or Fanatic or however you want to pronounce it. Um, I've got a DD Pro uh, wheelbase, which is um, with the eight the eight newton meter. So you've got the the extra bit of power. Um, who really knows what that does? I, I don't really have much of a point of reference. Um, and I've got a... Oh, I should have brought it. I should have uh, taken it. I could have I could have shown you I've got a, a Formula uh, wheel. So that's compatible with PlayStation. And that setup is compatible with both yeah PlayStation and Xbox. So yep. if... Uh, you know, maybe uh, Forza Motorsport when it if it if it comes out one day, I'll uh, I'll try and have a, a drive on there and let you know how it goes. Well, why don't you why don't you grab it? I'll quickly talk through this lap because you've already seen this video, but it's we're on lap twenty seven. Um, get this double overtake done, which I'm pretty chuffed about. You know, get Andre on the DRS zone, and then Alvi happens to go a bit wide. His tires are off. And I take first place. And I think I only only came P1 not because of pace. I mean, I had a bit, had a bit more pace than Andre because I'm on the mediums. I think Alvi pitted at like lap 17 or 15 to go on the softs and tried to push it to the very end. So I think he was really pushing it to try and make it to the end on um, brand new softs, which is why he, he went off at the track at the last moment, which gave me P1. But... You can see now, Greg, you're you're sitting in P3, so you end up in P3. So talk us through what your race was like, because um, I was I was so focused on what I was doing. You saw Andre come up, guys. I was so focused on what I was doing. I didn't realize you were in P3 until I actually crossed the finish line. So um, yeah, so so turn one, as is usually the case with drive to spin, um, there's usually a bit of carnage, and 
I have been known to get caught up in, in that from time to time, and it, it's probably hampered a few of my races. But, um, yeah, so I, I span, and I think I was in 20th or 19th after that um, from the first corner. Um, didn't break a wing, thankfully. Uh, and then from there, just, yeah, just kept it on track and consistent, consistent yeah. driving. Um, and I tend to look after my tyres pretty well um, so I can push – stints a little bit longer um usually get a you know um an overcut I, I sometimes do i stay out a bit longer and and manage to make up a few places there um and yeah but at the end i had i got into um the third position i knew pete was you know whatever he how how far he was 14 seconds or 12 seconds or something behind me yeah. um and I knew I wasn't going to catch you, Andre, uh, up the front. So I went ultra conservative, just didn't want to. Towards wanna... the end. Yeah. 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 So, because yeah. um, I knew, yeah, all, all it's going to take from me is one spin and yeah. Pete's going to be right on me. So, right. And you would have lost Pete. You would have lost the podium. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah, I think definitely in, in 22, the tire wear is is a lot more noticeable. Uh, the softs seem to go off a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, that tire management at the end, I think that'll that'll put you in good stead, Greg, if you can manage your tires um, well for the rest of the season. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what I did. I think I might've gone medium, soft, medium. Um, what am I on there at the end? You're medium. on the mediums, yeah. Yeah, so I must've, yeah, I'm pretty sure I started. I did actually start mediums uh, and I stayed out, yeah, yeah. for quite a, quite a while well let's let's, let's um, have a look at the race results that'll show us actually before the race results this is interesting <laughs> on the podium it all looks normal look at here. you yeah. and, up. <laughs> and i was that excited i just completely <laughs> lost, lost head. my head <laughs> yeah i think that drew the um cracked this up uh on the night it was hilarious so you had you did two two pit stops i did two as well andre, andre pushed it for the one but I think yeah. he was on the hards for a long time, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think he started yeah. on the mediums and then went on to the hards. So what did you do? You did you ended on the on the mediums, obviously. I'm pretty sure it was medium, soft, medium, soft, medium, or it, or soft, medium, medium, something like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was two stints on the medium. Yeah, right. That well, worked out really well for you. Only so ten seconds behind me. So Pete, as well, you you had a great race, finishing in fourth. Talk us through what um what your race was like. Yeah, well. I was similar to sort of, I was just, towards the end, I was just trying to keep it on the track. And I, I think I got lucky. I didn't have a great start, but I just got lucky. I didn't seem to do much damage. I got a cheap pit stop just between one of the safety cars. I was just there at the pit lane and was able to duck in. And yeah, I did medium, hard, medium. Yeah, um, right. yeah. Why'd you go medium, so, hard, medium? Because uh, I didn't change it. In quicker, because oh, right. <laughs> like because that stop, I literally just like like I was right at the pit entrance when I saw the VSC or or the safety car was going to be deployed, and I just nicked in. I hadn't, you know, hadn't thought about pitting that right. soon. So. Right, right. Gotcha. It did. It, that... it didn't didn't hurt me too much because the hards, as I said, we were under the safety car a lot, so um, I got a good wear out of it. Cool. You gonna say something, Greg? Yeah, uh, that is one difference with um, 22 that um, I noticed and just in a, I think we were doing a practice race last night was the the strategy, the tyre strategies that is presented to you as the as it's the first so, option yeah. is pretty wacky. It is, isn't and it? Um, that's, I think that's why I started on the medium because I didn't even notice. Um, yeah obviously qualified on the soft i wanted to start on the soft and then yeah i didn't even notice that it had put me on something wacky so yeah yeah, cool. yeah. well so, i mean that was the top 10 but yeah someone some down on the bottom 10 was yeah some, let's some have a look at there. Yeah, p15 and p18 two new ferraris two, new Ferrari. oh. <laughs> <laughs> two, two dnfs so yeah a bit of hype around the new ferrari team this year a uh, bit of a disappointing finish for them on Monday, but let's see how they go in the races it's, to come. Um, I think still getting used to the imitating life, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah. There was some a couple of uh, 
you know, interesting strategies, Julian on six pits and Vinny on seven. Seven, pits. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Vinny had seven stops and managed to to get up there into eleventh. That's pretty decent. Yeah, he did, yeah, and he did. and and he managed to beat Geordie. So I think I think that's another great thing to see the games really mixing up um, the field a bit. You know, I mean, I, I think Geordie and Alvi they'll they'll adjust quite quickly. So I think next race will be different, but. Um, I think they were a little underprepared at how different it was. It was going to be this race. Um, mm. so I, I think see. Vinny had the problem that that a few people have had is when you break a wing, you got to make sure it's not set to auto on yes because yeah. sometimes people were pitting thinking they'd get their wing changed. Yeah, they did. yeah, that happened yeah. to Julian as well. Problem, yeah, right. Yeah. Cool. Well, and the constructors. Has number one, Has. 33 points. Very, very nice. That's, that's right. Great to see. Don't think we'll ever see that in real that's, life. That's, but, uh... Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> Gunter would be flat proud. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, I got a text message from him um, <laughs> late, late Tuesday night congratulating me, so that was good. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations, Greg. Great to see you and Andre off yeah, to a great right. start um, this, this, this season so far. Hopefully you can carry that through and into the next season. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good about um, this season. I think all the teams are pretty even, so it'll be really competitive. So we'll see how we go. Mm. Yeah. And we, we have our next race in Miami. So if people haven't practiced that, I would highly recommend you practice that because it's, uh, it's a tricky circuit. So I think there's going to be a lot of safety cars on that one. Yeah. That's my prediction. That's right. That's right. Cool. All right. Well, um, thanks, Greg, for joining us. Yes, thank you, Greg. No worries. Pleasure to be here, uh, boys. It was uh, well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and thanks for watching. Hit up that like and subscribe. <laughs>